So let's quickly talk about the Beehive subscribe forms. This is going to be helpful, say, if you want to put a sign-up form somewhere elsewhere, like on your website where you can get your subscribers. If you would like to test out Beehive, I will leave my link down below in the description where you can get a free trial, or maybe you want to use that just for easier login access. Should you want to upgrade, I should have a coupon code for you as well in the future, so be sure to check that out. What you want to do when you're at the main dashboard, if you look at the left and scroll all the way to the bottom, there's going to be a settings section. That's where we are now. And from there, what you want to do is click on public which is where I am. And up at the top, there's going to be a subscribe forms. And here we are. So nothing left to do here aside from clicking on create no form. So let's do that. All right, so this is going to be the name. Say, for example, if you wanted to create multiple subscribe forms, give this a name that's going to like differentiate where you're going to be using it. So like, say this is going to be on your specific website. Let's give it a name so we know. All right, so I have Marketing Island website signup. So header, this is going to be like what's at the top. We can always change this around, but I'm just going to call it Marketing Island Newsletter. And then a description like, you know, join the newsletter today. Then we have input placeholder. It says enter your email. I personally like enter your best email or enter your favorite email because a lot of times people will just put in like a spam email and never check it. So if you put your best email and you actually say it, there's better chances that you're going to get their best email. So let's add that in. So there you can do enter your best email, enter your favorite email, or enter your primary email. Those are three ones that I recommend using. So uh, button text, you know, subscribe, click here to subscribe. Probably don't want to write too much text in there. So I think subscribe is going to do it. Our color palette, these are a lot of the colors I use in some marketing island. And it's kind of like a tropical vibe, text color is black, button color. Uh, this is also going to be the background. So it is going to be green, could probably change that around. So let's say just for this example, let's make it like a slight gray. Okay, and we'll be able to view that soon. Okay, we have text that's already going to be good to go. And then we have after submission. So you can do a success message like congratulations, check your email. All right, congratulations, be sure to check your inbox, maybe for a free gift, whatever it's going to be. Or if you don't want to do that, you can redirect to an external page. So I think this is usually a good idea. And you can obviously create an extra landing page where it's going to be a thank you page, maybe where it says like, thank you so much for checking out my newsletter. Be sure to check your inbox right now for a special free gift for me. I think that's a fantastic way of just getting people to open up your emails from the start. But, but for now, let's just go with show a success message. And there we go. Let's click on save. Okay, and so this is going to be our Marketing Island website signup. So like I said in the beginning, you usually just want to give it a name that's going to be telling you where you're going to be using this. Because when you create a new form, you know this one is for your website, or maybe this one's going to be for like uh, a different website that you have. Maybe you have multiple websites. Okay, so let's do view. And there we go. Marketing Island newsletter. Join the newsletter today. Pretty simple, pretty polished, pretty basic. I like it. Enter your best email, subscribe. So if you want to utilize the full width, this is everything that you can copy. So it says embed this code directly in line within your website, and it will expand to the full width of its surrounding container. We have the fixed width. So I think it's going to be based. It'll say it right here. So width is going to be 480 and then height's going to be 320. So you're looking at a little bit smaller. This will probably be good, say, like on the uh, right side of a website. OK, like you know, normally where you have ads. So that's a good spot, too. Uh, we have a slim embed. That's also a good one in case you just want to put that. And maybe you can just personally put text above it on your own website. There's going to be some advanced configuration and attribution tracking should you want to utilize that. And in case there is the question, if you ever created one of these and you don't use it anymore and you want to tidy it up, this is where you can delete it. But nevertheless, you know, depending on your website and what you're using, sometimes there's going to be WordPress plugins and there's specific sections where you can actually add this code to it. I don't know what you're going to be using specifically for your website, so I'm not going to go through that because there's plenty of them, but that's usually pretty easy to figure out. If you have any questions, you can uh, leave a comment down below. But all in all, that's how you can create your subscribe forms that you can utilize on your website to help you get more subscribers for your newsletter on Beehive. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you haven't gotten to test out Beehive, I will leave my affiliate link down in the description for you. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.